tutorial for Noco HQ and today's tutorial we're going to once again show you how to build a specific Chrome extension using our Chrome extension integration for Bubble. Um, if you don't know what this is, um, I would recommend to watch one of our other videos where we explain how to set up the Chrome extensions, get your package built, install your um, package build in Google Chrome and then how to publish the Chrome extension. Um, in this tutorial, we're just going to take a look at one specific use case, which will be building um, a simple scraping Chrome extension. Okay, so um, a common use case for Chrome extensions are um, for sourcing information, sourcing contact data from different sites. Um, a classic example would be something like LinkedIn, where you want to go through LinkedIn and build a Chrome extension where it grabs the names of potential uh, clients or contacts, whatever. And um, what we're going to do, we're going to simply build a um, Chrome extension that will grab um, information from Crunchbase. Okay, so let's say you are doing some research about some companies and you want to build a Chrome extension that grabs data from, um, from, from Crunchbase, certain data that we can decide. And then this will push it into our um, Bubble database where we will then have the option to work with this data later on. So. Uh, we're going to keep it really simple just to show you what is possible and then obviously you can take it from there and build a much more complex chrome extension so what you will need is the chrome extension uh, install we did that already um, it's here installed our demo chrome extension um, again if you don't know how to do this please watch one of our other videos and we're here in our um, bubble application we're building our chrome extension on this page called chrome I defined the width and height already, made it fixed width. I added a background color. I can change that again, it doesn't matter. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go ahead now and start building the Chrome extension. So um, I already have my Chrome extension element here on the page. You will always wanna add that if you build the Chrome extension, okay? And then we're just gonna add uh, maybe the title. Let's say this is our um, Crunchbase data sourcer, something like this. Okay, let's center that, make it a bit nicer. All right, um, let's also add a button, okay? And this button should say, get data. Um, and now, the, obviously the question is, what kind of data do you wanna grab? And this always depends. In this case, we're looking at different organizations. And let's say we always wanna grab the one liner or the one sentence about this company. So how would you uh, tell the Chrome extension to target this? Well, you simply have to right click here in Chrome, inspect, and you will see, for example, okay, aha, there's a class, and the class name is description. That's all we have to know. So. Now, if we go back here to the button, we can say, all right, so start editor workflow. You will have access to element actions, all the actions of the Chrome extension. And what we want to use is get the value of an element by class. And now all you have to do is simply enter the class name with a full stop. And then in this case, it was description. And that's basically it already. And this this action now will grab the value of our uh, description field okay so let's take a look and just see if that works how can we check that well I'm just gonna add a text here below okay and this text will be our Chrome extension ace return text okay all right let's make that white center this okay and now let's simply go here on this page okay I'm gonna open the Chrome extension I click the Chrome extension it's now opening and loading all right um, my bubble application is a bit slow because there's so many plugins installed. All right, so Crunchbase data source. So let's get the data. Perfect. You saw, uh, saw it took like less than a second. It immediately grabbed about data. And uh, we can um, test that on all other organization pages because websites usually have the same structured uh, kind of format. And if the class was here, description will be for the other organization pages. So let's search for another company. I don't know. Let's search for PayPal, for example. Okay. Let's grab the data here. So again, I'm gonna open the Chrome extension. I'm gonna click on get data and you can see we get immediately the about information. Now, obviously um, we wanna, we could add more uh, data points. So you could look, okay, so I wanna get the name. So inspect the name, what's the class of that? All right, the class is profile name. You could even take uh, a look into things like here, the employee number. Okay, so that would be, for example, here, 
the um, class component field formatter. Okay, uh, you could take a look at the total funding amount and basically take all of this information in one go um, and then upload that to your bubble database. And that's what we're going to do now. I'm just going to keep uh, with this one data point, the description, but I'm going to create a new uh, data type here. I'm going to call it a company. Okay, and let's just have um, a description. Okay, and let's also maybe have a URL field. I'm going to show you what I mean with that in a second. All right, uh, and so now what happens after we get data? Or let's add a second button. So just to uh, kind of have that as separate. Okay, so upload, upload to bubble. Okay, so let's start at a workflow. When this is pressed, we simply want to create a new thing. Okay, and this thing should be a company, and the description should be Chrome extensions A, return text. And the URL should be Chrome extension A's current URL. Yeah, and that's basically it. However, we just have to grab the URL. We're going to do this actually in this step as well. We're going to go to element actions and we're going to get the current URL. Okay, that's just here when we get the data, we're getting the description and we're getting the current URL. And then in the upload step, we're creating a new company with the URL of the current Crunchbase page and the description. Okay, what you could obviously also do now, you could like display um, a repeating group with the company you grabbed already. So let's add a repeating group here like this. Um, company, do a search for company, all right, two rows, and then just uh, maybe like this, okay. This should be then the current sales company description. And then you could even add something like an icon here, uh, maybe website or visit or arrow, something like this, okay? And then you could say, all right, so when this arrow is pressed, I wanna open a web page, but not in bubble, in the actual Chrome tab. And again, you have access to this via the element actions. You wanna open a tab in Chrome extension, and then you have to define the URL, okay? In this case, I wanna have the current sales company URL. So let's test all of this out now. I'm gonna open the Chrome extension, so let's get the data first of all. All right, so that seems to work. We get the PayPal is a financial service and so on and so forth. So let's upload that data to Bubble. Let's see what happens. Okay, so you can see already that it works because we have our repeating group here now filled with the first uh, page basically um, with the description of PayPal and the arrow. So let's try to open this page. Okay, and you see uh, it's saved. We opened the URL programmatically via our Chrome extension. So now even if you're on, I don't know, and let's open the Chrome extension. You can now anytime open um, any of the saved companies you have just by clicking on this link. Okay, so let's try that. And now again, we're on the PayPal page. So let's tr just add maybe Tesla now again or something here. I don't know this thing. Uh, open the Chrome extension again. So let's get data. Okay, let's upload to Bubble. And now we have the second uh, company here, which I don't know. Uh, listed here. So if we take a look in the bubble database under app data, uh, all companies, you can see perfect works perfectly fine. We have the URL, we have the description, and we build a really, really simple scraper, which grabs a bit of information. But obviously, you could build that much more complex and go into much more detail and grab a lot of information from the current page. And that's basically it. Um, I hope you learned something. And I want to see you guys for the next tutorial of NoCoHQ. Bye.